It's 8.53, I just got to work, and normally this wouldn't be a huge deal, but today I'm actually training. Yes, I have an, a new employee here that I'm training, and I'm late on my first day of training her. Everybody, this is Liv. It is her first day, and I have to show her how to open the playroom in like five minutes, like no lie. But today's also a little bit different because I had that private last night until 6.30, so not everything is done. Luckily, it is spring, so it is a little bit um, slower. So Liv, I'm gonna show you where the lights are, unless do you think you know where they are? Nobody ever knows where the lights are. Okay, they're back here. <laughs> The lights are in this little room right here, which is actually also like an emergency exit. It's very strange. They're on this little control panel and it says lights and lights and you just go like that, both of them. And then there's light. We open in three minutes. So we gotta take a quick look around to make sure I did get everything sprayed last night. So at least it doesn't need to be sanitized, but I am just, struggling today of course because i have to train i think it looks pretty good though we've got a car here right now i'm just gonna check the bathrooms and then i'm gonna have to teach you how to let people in <laughs> okay it's 9 a.m so now we gotta open the sign already says 9 to 3 mm -hmm. so we're just gonna put it out okay super easy I flip it. There's a car here, so I'm gonna unlock the door. Yep. But if there's no car here, I would wait to lock the, unlock the door until you see a car. Mm -hmm. Just because if you're gonna be in here alone, you wanna make yeah. sure Safe. it's locked. Yeah. Oh my God. Good morning. Okay, and then we wanna make sure this is shut so nobody gets in. Okay, so we're about to check in our first person. So we wanna make sure that this laptop is open because this is where we keep track of like how many people have been here. Okay. And then we have this little income sheet here. Today's the 24th. So we just gotta get to the month and the day. <laughs> and we got the waiver. So I do use some very specific language. Mm -hmm. So when they come in, I'm gonna say, if you could please sign in on the waiver. Okay. So you wanna really make sure you use that word waiver so they know that they are signing like a legal document. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge stickler about the waiver. Okay. Um, it's a very, yeah, I mean, I don't, I make them go back in and get their kids to come back out if they. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. If you could just sign in on the sure. waiver for me before you go in. And you had two playing today? Yes. Awesome, we're gonna do cash or card? Uh, card. Yeah. And the reason I always ask how many they have is because a lot of times they'll have pumpkin seats and I don't know what's in the pumpkin seat or how old is in the pumpkin seat. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I always ask. If she were to say just one was playing, mm -hmm. I'd say, okay, perfect. We only charge for children that yeah. touch and play with the toys. All right, wonderful. And have they both turned two? Uh, he, no, she is, she's three, he is 19. Okay, so he has not turned two yet. So mm -hmm. if he would like, he can go into the gated off area okay. with the rainbow. If he chooses to go in there, there's no shoes allowed. Okay. So if you join him, you would need to remove your shoes as well. Okay. They can both play in the main area, but he's the only one that can go in that baby okay. area. Outside food and drink is more than welcome, but has to stay on the tile and all toys have to stay on the carpet. Okay. You're perfect. good to go in. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so we have three different types of punch cards. I'm gonna keep them all in here. Okay. So these are my three different types of punch cards. These are open play punch cards. We've got a hundred dollars for 10 or $50 for five. And since we already offer a sibling discount, this really only saves you money if you have like one kid. Okay. I haven't figured out how the multiple kid thing works yet. And then we have a $5 minimum on credit card purchases. Okay. So if they want a snack, their options are buy five snacks mm -hmm. on their card, mm -hmm. or they can buy a $5 snack punch card. Mm -hmm. These we keep there, these they keep with themselves. Okay, cool. Obviously they can use a $1 bill mm -hmm. and just pay cash, but and I gotta refill this. But this just kind of keeps it so we're not running credit yeah. cards for one dollar. Oh, in here, mm -hmm. I also have these little coupons. Okay. Redeem this for if you find that a kid's been here for thirty minutes, mm -hmm. they're panicking. Mom and dad just take them out, or mom pays for two kids. Second baby's just sitting the whole time, never wakes up. Mm -hmm. So I just give them this, and I'll write like one free open play, second okay. child, or one whatever. Or, you know, if something happens and you just want it to be a little extra nice, you can hand these out however you feel fit. <laughs> okay, so here's where I have like the opening duties. If you ever have any questions, we've already turned on the lights. We did not check the temperature in the playroom. Mm -hmm. So that's actually right over here. Okay. Check the bathrooms. We did that. Check the trash cans. All right, so then today is Wednesday. So this is our list for Wednesday. Okay. It's essentially like that little corner. 
kitchen toys, market toys, nursery toys, and wall magnets by the party room. Okay, this is your first time checking in somebody all by yourself. Hi there. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good diapers. Yay! We have diapers. Yeah, yeah, just in case. It is now 10.45. How's it going so far? It's good. Do you regret all your decisions to work for me? Totally. Oh. <laughs> it is 11 o'clock. We've had about 10 kids so far, so this will be another good time to like go and pick up, but we're not going to pick up anything that kids are actively playing with, and we're only going to use um, the cleaning supplies for when they're in the building. I usually do like a midday check-in, but I have been totally forgetting. So today we've had 14 kids. It has not been this loud all day. No. But these kids are, they're super cute, but they're having a lot of fun. It's just funny how three big kids are so much louder than like 10 little kids. They are so cute. All right, so I already did, I, I didn't do this. Liv already did the Yuck Bucket toys. So those are drying, then we'll put those back out. And then we close in like 40 minutes. So then we will start doing the closing duties. Liv, how's today been? Great. Easy? <laughs> Easy. 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 I feel like today flew by. It is 2.49, the last family just left. And Liv and I were just talking about like how chill today was. I almost feel like it wasn't like a real day of training because nothing insane happened. Nothing broke. Everything was really calm. All the parents were great. We didn't have one bad thing happen. So I'll be interested to see what the rest of the week goes. Um, but we've got to clean now because these kids didn't make a big mess, but there's definitely a little bit of a mess. So I always tell my employees that when it comes to cleaning the like playroom and putting toys away, I don't have like a specific spot that everything has to go as long as it just like makes sense for play. But if they do ask me specifically where things go, I feel like I sound really crazy. Like over here, we have a lot of the vehicles that can be played with um, by like hand, but the vehicles that get rode on, ridden on, that you ride on, actually go over here against this wall. So the cars aren't next to each other, but like that little car doesn't go there. This little car is like a handheld car. So he goes all the way back over here. We do have some food that goes on this side of the playroom, but the only food that goes on this side of the playroom is the plastic food for the grill and the felt food. But food like this and this, and oh my gosh, can I grab it? This and this one right here, go on this side of the playroom. No, not this one. And then this bucket is the bucket that the trains go in and it goes on the train table and the rainbow bucket goes on this side. Can I help you? Oh, we gotta turn the closed sign and lock the door. So I never care where the toys are put as long as it makes sense and it looks clean and it looks neat, but I truly sound deranged when I'm talking about which food toys go where. And then one weird thing that I always have to train my employees on is the phone. It has rang like a million times today. So I get a lot of phone calls all day long um, because I post content on social media. So I have to like train them on how to decipher between a real phone call and a prank phone call. And it just goes on and on and on and on. All right, guys, we are going to be ending our day because it is time to leave anyway. But Liv, I have a question. Hmm. Is there anything about the playroom that surprised you or anything about working here that surprised you or anything about working with me that surprised you? I'm putting her on the spot. Yes. <laughs> Um, honestly, by how much the parents, like, actually, like, try to pay attention to their own kids. Yeah. I grew up very much in a time of, like, not the Chuck E. Cheese, but, like, <laughs> let your children free, and, oh, I'll see you at, like, just come back. When the porch lights turn on? Yeah, when the porch yes. lights turn on. And then now it's like, oh, like, they actually, like, most of them are like, oh, no, you can't, before we even before see we it. Like, no, you it. can't have mm -hmm. things up there on the stairs. I mean, the parents that come in here are great. I say it all the time. I tend to only make, like, the videos of, like, the 1%. But, like, 99% of the parents that come in here are, are amazing. I'm always told that the phone is surprising. Like, how much it brings. There is a lot, a lot, but honestly, it was like, I was mentally preparing beforehand. I know, because I like to warn you. Yeah. All right, well, that's everything today. We're going to close up. Ooh. So if you guys like this video, I'd like it. If you gave it a thumbs up, and if you loved it, I'd love it. If you would subscribe, have a great day. Don't forget, wash your hands. Bye, guys. Ooh.